Good evening, everyone. I'm Commandant Chef. Right after our newscast, you can watch the Blake Anderson Show right here on KIT. But first, let's take a Red Wolves rewind to Freddie's fantastic night. Freddie Knighton truly did it all on Saturday. Freddie threw for 219 yards and a score through the air. On the ground, Knighton ran for 104 yards to lead all rushers. And get this, Freddie also had this 45-yard reception as the Red Wolves got tricky on a double pass. Here's Knighton on his magical night and his first start. Well, there's always stuff you can work on, you know, being a better passer, putting the ball on guys in better situations. There are a couple passes that I wish I could have back. Um, but overall, just glad we got the win. From American football to the world's football, or soccer, as A-State took on UCA in our natural state matchup. And ASU was having some fun here. If you start dancing, believe me, my camera will find you. And my camera also found a first half A-State goal as Ward puts ASU up 1-0 just 13 minutes in. But UCA would tie the game early in the second half. And with just under five minutes left, here's the game winner. Arkansas State loses 2-1. Back to American football, the Razorbacks were tied at 21 against sixth ranked Auburn, but from there it was all Tigers as Gus Malzahn and company win 45-21. Brandon Allen did throw two touchdown passes in the loss. Actually uh, disappointed in the results. I thought our guys uh, opening two quarters, uh, you know, survived some things that we had to persevere and weather through offensively and defensively and in the kicking game, but um, felt at halftime coming in if we could just go out and match that effort in the second half and uh, give Auburn credit, they were able to do it, we weren't. Um. Staying with the Hogs, former starting QB Ryan Mallett has been traded from the Patriots to the Texans. The Patriots get a 2016 seventh round conditional pick. Mallett joins Houston's new head coach Bill O'Brien, who was his offensive coordinator in New England when the Pats drafted Mallett in 2011. Staying in the SEC, Jesse and I will like this, our alma mater Mizzou won its season opener 38-18 to behind a true team effort. Matty Mock threw three touchdown passes, two of them to Darius White, and Russell Hansborough rushed for 126 yards. Look at him go here. And the special team showed off its skill, too, as Marcus Murphy had a 100-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. And Batesville native Charlie Strong certainly started the season on a strong note. In his debut as a Texas head coach, the Longhorns held North Texas to just 94 total yards and put up 38 points of offense. Strong gets the Gatorade bath. Wow, that's interesting. As Texas tops North Texas 38 to 7. In Lubbock, a former Cross County Thunderbird found the end zone. Blake Beasley had a goal line score to get UCA within a touchdown against Texas Tech. He had 14 carries for 43 yards. The Bears put a scare in the Red Raiders, but Tech won 42 35. From a former Region 8 high school player to the current ones, Highlands led by Avery Johnson and A-State commit and De Deion Stewart, a Razorback commit. The Rebels will open their season tomorrow night at 7.30 against Midland Christian, a Texas school as part of Hooten's kickoff week at Razorback Stadium. It's cool, you know, and it's an honor for our school, our community, you know, and our program. We're looking forward to it, uh, to play there on Labor Day, to play early. You know, we're, I know we're going to have a big crowd. Uh, you know, we've already sold a bunch of tickets, and I know a lot of other people gonna, from northwest Arkansas are going to want to come watch us play. The, the Cardinals hosted the Cubs the today in one of baseball's best Rangers. rivalries. The Cards were down 5-0 in this game, but they battle back. Here's Matt Holliday. He's swinging away. And that one's gone for a home run. Talk about a big time blast. He was just getting started in this game. But Colton Wong, well, he would hit a home run as well. Look at him, pull the ball to right field. That one's deep and gone. The cards were down in this one, but they would battle back. They tied the game at six and they'd score three runs in the eighth to win nine to six. And Jesse Blake Anderson was here this morning, bright and early before we were out by bat and they were shooting the A-State, the Blake Anderson Coaches Show. So we'll see that at 10.35 right after our newscast. Region right. 8 News at 10. So that should be fun. Cool, yeah, the season premiere of that too. Yeah, good stuff. It's All exciting. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Common. Stay with us. We'll be right back.